Hello, sports fans and football fans. It's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke. And I'm here today with my week two picks. So, <clears throat> just a quick recap. Um, I went nine and seven in week one. So that's not too bad for week one. You don't know with all the new moves all the teams have made. Uh, you know, it's it's tough to say who's going to win, who's going to lose. Um, that's why I went with mostly the home teams last week. And it did sort of pay off. Um, I was a little disappointed that uh, Kansas City couldn't manage to beat the Lions. Uh, but it is what it is. I mean, I, I did get some... Uh, I did get some big ones right, like taking the Browns over the Bengals and taking the Jets over the Bills, although they have lost Aaron Rodgers for the year. We'll have to see how that plays out going forward, but uh, they did pull out the win. So, uh, in fact, it was good because I was 7-7 seven and seven going into the last two games of the week, and that was the Dallas game and the Jets game, and I got both of those right. So, uh, I'm going to take that 9-7 and, that and seven record out for a spin. So, with all of that having been said, let's get into the picks. Uh, the first game is going to be on Thursday, the 14th of September. And that is going to be the Vikings playing the Eagles. Now, if you remember last week, the Vikings got beat late by the Buccaneers. And the Eagles almost blew it against the Patriots for some reason. Uh, but they ended up, uh, they, they held on, they won. Uh, the last pass that the Patriots made was an out-of-bounds pass on fourth down. So <clears throat> they hung on to win. In this game, I'm going with the Eagles. Uh, the Eagles should have played better against the Patriots. And hopefully Sirianni is going to get them, whip them into shape, and make them realize they almost lost a game that they should easily have won. Now that brings us to the Sunday game, Sunday 9-17. That will be, uh, the first game is the Ravens at the Bengals. And the Ravens won last week kind of convincingly, but uh, you, you felt like they should have looked better than they did. The Bengals got humiliated by the Browns. Um, so, that having been said, even though the Bengals are at home, I need to see a little bit more from the Bengals. I'm going to take the Ravens in this one. Take the Ravens over the Bengals. The next one we got is the Seahawks at the Lions. The Seahawks lost to um, a Rams team that was probably expected by many to be the second worst team in the NFC. And the uh, Lions upset the Kansas City Chiefs. And the Lions are home in this one. So I'm going to go with the Lions. Take the Lions over the Seahawks. Next one you got is the Colts at the Texans. Uh, the new look Texans did not look good. So not yet. Uh, the Colts at least were competitive. And uh, had a chance to win the game that they played. So I'm going to go with the Colts here on the road against the Texans. Next one is my Bears which got humiliated again by the Green Bay Packers. Different quarterback, same result. Um, but uh, they, the Buccaneers, they didn't really look that great. And um, you know I don't like Baker Mayfield very much. So I'm going to go with the Bears here. I'm going to give the Bears another shot to prove me wrong that they're the same old Bears. Hopefully they aren't. We shall see. Um, the next one we have is the Chiefs at the Jags. The Chiefs are on the road against the Jaguars, who the Jaguars are expected to be um, a very good team in the uh, AFC South. But that having been said, and as bad as the Chiefs looked against the Lions, I'm still going to go with the Chiefs. I understand that Kelsey might still be out, uh, but... I'm still going to go with the Chiefs. Um, you know, Kadarius, uh, what is his name? Kadarius something. That he, he dropped a lot of passes that he should have caught. And, you know, things like that probably aren't going to happen again. Um, so Kadarius Tony, 
yeah. He dropped a lot of passes he should have caught. you got to believe that won't happen again. Let's hope it doesn't, but I'm going to go with the Chiefs there. Um, the Pack, the Packers go on the road against the Falcons, who won last week. And uh, you know what? I'm going to take, surprisingly, this is going to be maybe my upset special here. I'm going to take the Atlanta Falcons at home against the Packers. I'm going to gamble that the Packers aren't really as good as they looked against the Bears, although maybe the Bears were just worse or as bad as I didn't think that they would be with their remake, but we'll see. Um, still, I'm going to take the uh, Falcons. I think the new-look Falcons, um, some of the players that they went out and got, their draft picks, their retooling, um, you know, I think that they, they look uh, they look pretty decent. So I'm going to take them over the Packers. Raiders at the Bills. Now we know the Bills lost to the Jets. Josh Allen tried to force too many passes again. He tried to score a 14 point touchdown, which doesn't exist. So um, and the um, and the Raiders actually won. The Raiders, surprisingly, I did not have them winning last week, but they did. Still, with all of that having been said, I got to take the Bills at home. The Bills are at home in Orchard Park, New York. I'm taking the Bills. Next one you got is the Chargers on the road against the Titans. The Titans did not look good at all. And if they stay with Tannehill, they really are limiting themselves. Both of their backups are probably better than Tannehill. So, um, and the, uh, and the Chargers, they lost, but they had, they were winning with only a couple minutes left. I thought they were going to hang on and win, but they didn't. But they have a high-powered offense. Um, you know, they've got Herbert. Um, and uh, so I'm going to go with the Chargers in this one, even though the Titans are at home. 49ers at the Rams. 49ers look great. I don't know what else to say about that. Um the Rams did manage to beat the Seahawks, but, you know, it was the Seahawks. Let's not get too excited. But the 49ers, I mean, the 49ers look like they're hitting on all cylinders. Um, you know, they got Purdy back, and Purdy is looking like Joe Montana out there. So I am going with the 49ers over the Rams. Next one is the Giants at the Cardinals. Cardinals lost to Washington, although they did make a game out of it. Um, they played a lot better than I was expecting them to play, but they have a limited. They're limited on offense. I mean, one of the touchdowns they got was a uh, scoop and score. So, um, offensively, they're very limited. The Giants, uh, they they got humiliated by Dallas, but that was Dallas. Dallas has a great defense. Dallas is well balanced. Dallas, Dallas has good offensive weapons. It wasn't surprising that the Giants lost that game because I did call that one. But I think the Giants can beat the Cardinals. They better be able to beat the Cardinals. Uh, you got the Jets at the Cowboys now. And as I just mentioned, the Cowboys, they humiliated the Giants last week. The Jets barely hung on to win. 22 to 16 over the Bills in overtime, and now they don't have Aaron Rodgers. So guess who I'm going to take in this game? That's right, I'm taking the Dallas Cowboys. Uh, you, now you got the Commanders at the Broncos. Now even though the Broncos lost and I thought they were going to win, I still would have to say that the Commanders, the, you know, the Commanders didn't look very good against the Cardinals. They should have played a lot better against the Cardinals. They should have won by a bigger margin against the Cardinals. So I'm going to take the Broncos at home in mile high against the Commanders. Next one is the Dolphins at the Patriots. Now Tua, man, Tua lit up the scoreboard. He lit up the everything. He lit up the defense he played against. Uh, I think it was the Chargers. So Tua was hot. The Patriots lost to the Eagles. Now, they did make it a game. They played a lot better than I think a lot of people expected the Patriots to play. But they still did lose. Um, and I still think that the Patriots are kind of a vanilla team. So we're going to go with the, uh, the Dolphins on the road against 
the Patriots. Now, the next games are, there's going to be two games on Monday night, and I hate when they do that. It's stupid. I hate two Monday night games, but they always try to force this down our throats every year. So uh, the first Monday night game is going to be the Saints at the Panthers. This is the divisional matchup. I'm going with the Saints on the road. They uh, they looked pretty good, I gotta say. Um, and the Panthers, you know, with uh, number one draft pick Bryce Young, they did not look good. And Bryce Young got he got a little nicked up near the end of the game. I don't know what his status is going to be, but he's still got a lot of learning to do. The Saints have Carr at quarterback. I'm going to take the Saints on the road against the Panthers. And then the last one is the Browns against the Steelers. Now, the Steelers got destroyed last week um, by Dallas. Or, no, not Dallas. They got destroyed. Who was it? For the 49ers. The 49ers took them apart. Uh, the Steelers got destroyed by the 49ers last week. They didn't look good at all. And the Browns manhandled Cincinnati. So even though this game is in Pittsburgh... I am going with the Browns. Take the Browns. So what do you guys think? Uh, leave a, you know, a comment in the comment section what games you disagree with me on. Um, and let's see if we can get this thing go rolling along. But that's going to be it for me. Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.